guys and welcome to Samantha's Kitchen. Today we have got a beautiful dish, perfectly served with some amazing flatbread and this is tabbouleh and I'm going to do the like a traditional version and then just one that I have with a, just a little bit different, um, just something just a bit different that's been added to it. So for today what you will need is you will need half a lemon, you will then need some tomatoes and I've got a mixture, I've got some two big ripe tomatoes and I've got a combination of smaller ones, um, doesn't matter about colour, you can have whatever colour you want, I've also got some uh, garlic, I've got two cloves here, I've got half a red onion, now we may need more red onion. Um, but I'm going to see how it goes with this and what I do for mine is I add a bit of cucumber in on mine um, Traditionally you wouldn't add cucumber, but I, I just like to add a bit because you know why not cooking's about experimentation and having fun and why not and then moving on we have a big 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 bunch of parsley this would probably be chopped down um, about three quarters of a cup full of parsley and then we've got a good handful of wonderful fresh mint you can see there and then for the other ingredients we've got some bulgur wheat now i am using a cup full of bulgur wheat just from asda dead easy it takes 20 minutes i've also got some himalayan salt here i've got some black pepper and I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Now, it's so quick and simple and just so refreshing is this. Um, it's actually, oh, it's, you ju you'll just love it and it's dead easy to make. So what I'm gonna do, this is the longest part of the process, is I'm gonna heat up a pan of boiling water and I'm gonna tip that in, this in for 20 minutes. Now, I always cook mine for another five minutes. I like mine a little bit softer than that. Uh, so I normally do mine for 25 minutes. So without further ado, I'm gonna get that in the um, pan and I'm gonna start chopping all the ingredients. So yeah, tabbouleh everyone, let's get cooking. Now, before we begin, um, I'm going to use my blender for this. Um, but there's a bit of an order of how you actually blend it if you if you're wanting to do this and the key is is not to put it on high and not to make a paste of anything um, tabbouleh is traditionally having a very finely chopped um, tomato onion and, and the parsley with the combination and so what I tend to do is I tend to put the harder vegetable like the onion in first and add the parsley and blitz it if you don't have a blender that's fine just know that you're gonna be chopping chopping a lot and chopping finely you basically want I would say a couple of millimeters maybe three or four millimeters per individual it's almost it's not a paste you still see the structure um, so I'm gonna show you how I blitz everything and what I do You'll also need some olive oil and you'll need about um, a quarter of a cup full of the olive oil and I generally add this in first so um, it just is smoother to blitz everything with with the blender so yeah let me show you how to do it. I have to say the longest thing is just waiting for the tabbouleh to cook, uh, sorry the bulgur wheat to, book, to cook really can take you like less than a few minutes in terms of ingredients so let's get blitzing
Okay, so this is my blended up um, parsley mint, um, red onion and garlic. Now I've also blended roughly the tomatoes and that goes in like so. And we'll give that a good mix around. So we've got all those wonderful fruits and herbs all mixed together and the bulgur wheat if we go over to that is done so we can turn that off the heat now and i will you've got to allow this to cool now so a quick tip if you want to let it cool quicker is put cold water on it sieve um sieve all the hot water out drain it completely and then just douse it in cold water and that will be uh, perfect for you to add to the um, tabbouleh mixture. So I'm going to do that now and I'll come back and, and, and then add it. Okay guys, I have drained all the bulgur wheat and now I've uh, made sure it's cool. I've used some cold water just to make sure it's nice and cold. And what we do is we add in the bulgur wheat to our wonderful mixture. Um, a lot of people, so I have a condition called psoriatic arthritis and it means that I can't chop a lot and I can't emphasise enough to you, I, I stopped doing this um, but without my blender it, I couldn't do it but look at me now, I'm making my tabulas again and they're just beautiful and just packed full of wonderful herbs and spices and things like that. Um, and so I always make a little bit more because um, I'm always unsure of how, how much I need. Tabool is one of those things that you don't think you've got a lot and then you realise, wow, I've got a lot. Um, so a lot of people might like it milder or might like it stronger. I'd like it more of a milder kind of punch to it. So just add in basically as much as you want and use it to taste essentially. Um, you might have a little bit left over, you might not, but this makes a real nice big batch and it's great in the um, in the fridge, especially when it's nice and cold. cold. Um, so I think for me, that is a really good mixture. That kind of consistency with um, that color, so what you want to do now is my secret ingredient, I add in cucumber. This is traditional tabbouleh, um, but I add in cucumber. Just because, and I chop this, so you've got a little bit more of a crunchiness to it. And so you add in your cucumber like so, making sure you mix it all in thoroughly. Oh, I can't describe to you how wonderful this smells. It just is out of this world. As always guys, I've completely and utterly forgotten to add in a bit of salt and black pepper. What am I like? Now this is always to taste, you don't have to put in any. But I just like to put a little bit of cracked black pepper in. Just to give it that little tiny little bit of heat through, not a lot and I just put a little bit of salt in just to bring out them flavours a little bit more and I just add a couple of pinches like so and now it's time to serve so you can have this with flatbread it's best served with flatbread um, some beautiful flatbread uh, I'm just serving it on with some some bread just to be able to Oh, look at this tabbouleh, oh my goodness. Just to be able to break that bread off and just scoop that wonderful tabbouleh goodness up. And there you have it. Wonderful. Homemade tabbouleh. With the bread of my choice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification button. And you stay safe, everyone. Bye.